eat less, move more. A simple statement that honestly is way harder to decipher and think about how to work into your life than we would think it is. Eat less, eat less food, move more, figure out how to move more. Those two things seem very simple, but in the long run, it's not just about how simple those statements are. It's about hard, how hard it can be to integrate something so simple into your life. That statement, eat less, move more, came up in a conversation I was having with uh, some friends sitting around a table. And at the time that it came up, I felt tension and I didn't know what to say at the moment. But the thing was is that once I got it more time to think about it, eat less, move more, yes, it's a simple statement, but we all know what that means. And we all know that, that in the long run, we probably should eat a little bit less and we probably should move a little bit more. The real problem is why don't we do that? What is it internally right, that is happening that allows us to say, yeah, I know that, but I'm not going to do that. And the problem with such a very simple, finite statement is that it doesn't work for individuals because every individual is different. And if you're not understanding how to take the time to learn about who you are and find your roadblocks, right, the things that are getting in the way from you realizing that like what it takes to eat less and to move more, right? then you're never really going to be able to get there, right? Um, for me, it's organization. I can, I am horrible at organization and I have so many roadblocks that get in the way. But what I try to do is bring awareness to those roadblocks and slowly start to tick away at them. If it's like, Brian, don't leave your shoes at the front door or leave them where you leave them. It's like the next time I take them off and I'm aware of that, it's like, okay, I need to get my shoes a little bit closer to where they actually should be. And it's little things like that that we can work on. So it's really about awareness and then action and then implementation, right? Like as we kind of go through this. So Sure, if you want to think about eat less, move more as a way to lose weight, reach goals, uh, have the body definition that you're looking for, phenomenal. But in the long run, that's just a statement that might create a very small amount of motivation that helps in a finite amount of time. Once you get past that motivation, what's going to keep you going? And it's the fact that you're starting to understand your roadblocks, the things that are getting in the way from you eating less and moving more and find a way to stay consistent. What is something that you can maintain that is scales for you and where you're at in your life? And how can you do that consistently? 1% better every day. I'd love to know y'all's thoughts on this. And maybe if a statement like eat less, move more came up in your life or, or whatever that statement was and how it made you feel and how sometimes it's probably detrimental versus actually empowering. So, hey, remember, I'm Brian Pierce, your purveyor of awesome. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'd love to get your feedback. Peace.